Oh, uh, March 17th. We're just starting to get some some blossoms here. This is uh, soft maple. See the blossoms there? They look like they might have got frosted last night, maybe. It did get down a little chilly last night. Thought maybe I'd see some honeybees on here, but there's a bunch of them here. New I don't see any of work in this plant here, but this is a soft maple. The hard maples, they're still just in the bud yet. There'll be a couple more weeks. Difference in the soft maple and the hard maple. The soft maple, their sugar content ain't as high. You don't tap the soft maple trees for making maple syrup, but the hard maples you do. You hear frogs croaking out in the swamp. Wonder why he called me Swamp Rat Man. That house over there across the road is the place where I grew up and that little mound right there you see in the middle of that that willow tree, that's a that's a muskrat hut or aka swamp rat. I used to trap them years ago. Cut a lot of them out of the swamp. But here's another thing. This is a poplar tree. I think there's a better one right here somewhere. I gotta reach it. Oh, I just knocked a bunch of pollen off. They look like big pussy well catechins. See them, them big tree right there. That's one. They work that. It's poplar. It's a soft maple next to it. You can see the red buds. The uh, hard maples, when they blossom, they have a green, a green bud on them, a green blossom. See if I can find any willow right here close by. Here's one variety of pussy willow. Ain't quite ready. Another couple of days, that'll be, it'll probably be blossomed out. That'll get like green fuzz all over them little catechins that stick off from there. I know they work. They work this bush like crazy when it comes in bloom. Uh, I think I know where there's another one over the other side of the swamp. We'll check out. Here's another pussy willow. This one's a little different. As you can see, the, the catechins are a little bigger on this one. They still. It'll be a few days. They'll get all. They'll start where it's all fuzzy here. It'll get all green with the pollen, and they'll be all over this bush. I see there's some up to the top. They'll start to hang down. I don't know if I'm pointing at it. I don't have a viewfinder, but right up in that area, there's some big ones. Oh, there's a honeybee looking them over. I don't know if you could see that in the viewfinder or not, but they're looking at it. A couple more days, this one will be good to go. Some yellow pollen there. I'm not sure whether that's from the poplar. I'm gonna wait here a minute, see if we see some of the green coming in, and I figure as well. Got a whole pile of them coming in. Maple's more of a gray pollen, but I don't see any of that coming in, so must be the ain't finding any maple. bottom of the hole just going in the hall. That would have been willow. I don't know what the yellow is, whether it's the poplar or elm. I'll have to look it up. Wikipedia. Go to Wikipedia and search 
Pollen Source is a really good page. I'll look it up and uh, post it across the screen what I think it is.